Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Uh, today we're up in the Getting Clean kitchen and I'm just getting set up to do some uh, microgreens uh, for the first time this season. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to grow uh, pea sprouts indoors. It's uh, a little bit different than uh, using hydroponic method, but it's very easy. And it's something that I think would be a fun project to do with kids, um, something to help pass the time while you're stuck indoors this winter and how we are all still trying to uh, stay home and isolate. Uh, growing some of these indoors is kind of a fun project that uh, I think is easy for anyone to do. So I will just run you through how it gets set up and then we'll go day by day and see how these are growing. So I have two different uh, methods I'm going to uh, show you today. One is just setting up your peas in a small uh, reusable container. These were um, just sushi uh, sushi dishes that I got from the grocery store. So if you have a couple containers that are the same size, such as these, that's um, how you can start them. They can be square, they can be bigger, as long as they fit one on top of each other. Okay, I also have my growing trays that I've purchased for my microgreens. So this is gonna be a, a larger scale setup. The bottom one does not have any holes. The top one here has holes. So the peas are gonna be growing on here and I'm gonna be um, watering them from the bottom. So I will, um, I think I picked these up at a local garden center. I can't recall if I ordered them online i will um i'll put the link to them where you can find them on the amazon store just so you know what they look like but i'm sure you could also find them um, at a local gardening store or hydroponic store uh, i'm going to be using speckled peas and i buy these in bulk from uh, mum's sprouting seeds and you may have seen this package in stores. Uh, I know they're available throughout Canada and I have seen them um, um, in the States as well and I believe you can find these on Amazon but I will put you to the link to directly to their company. I was excited to find out last year that this is actually a Saskatchewan company um, located here in Saskatchewan so um, I've been using these seeds for many years to grow my own sprouts and so I didn't um, film this last night but what I did was I I filled the tray with kind of a layer of peas and then covered it in water and I've let them soak overnight for about 12 hours and I can see that I probably put too many peas in here so you don't need to have them quite that thick and then I also had spread out a layer in here just to give me an idea how many peas I needed to fill this tray. And then I soaked them in water overnight as well. So we're just gonna rinse them in a cauldron first and then we will get them spread out onto the tray. have been soaking overnight, rinsed now and ready to spread out onto our trays. So I'm going to start with this one. Just fill it up nice even layer. These will probably expand a bit more and uh, as they sprout so I'm not going to jam them in there too tight but we'll we'll go with a layer like this and that's pretty much all you're going to do to start with um, I would suggest you have a spray bottle this is a this is a pretty big one here but I also something like this just a, a little spritzer bottle will work as well for growing on the countertop Okay, and now we're just going to spread out the ones in the large tray here. 
I may have uh, done too many, but let's see how they make out. And you don't want them to be uh, piled on top of each other. And I think, as I said, when I measured this out here in my tray, they were dry and hadn't expanded yet. So I'm thinking I have put too many in here. So I'm probably going to take a few of them out and start another tray. So I grew these uh, pea sprouts last year and that was my first time eating a pea sprout and they are so good. They taste just like having uh, green, fresh green peas that you would pick out of the garden. And um, that's one of my favorite vegetables is fresh garden peas. I actually do not like cooked peas though. I have never liked them and still as an adult, I still don't like them. I pick them out of my food. Um, when I was a kid and my mom used to, you know, put the vegetables on my plate and tell me I had to eat my peas, I would uh, scoop them all up and shove them all in my mouth at one time and then get up from the table and pretend to go blow my nose and spit them all out into the Kleenex and toss them in the garbage. So I'm sure my mom probably seen me do that or figured it out, but I thought I was being super sneaky and um, no peas left on my plate. So I got to uh, be excused from the table. But anyways, I love them raw and I'm um, excited to get a batch growing here. Okay, so we got these spread out pretty good. And for the small tray, we'll just focus on them right now. Um, what these need to be, um, for the first few days, you got to keep them in what we call a blackout stage until they are um, sprouted and starting to grow. So to do that, you can just take this second lid that's the same size, set it on top, and then you need to put some weight on it because those little sprouts are super strong and they will pop the lid off within, you know, a day or two. So a couple cans such as this setting on top. And uh, that's all you need to do. You should make sure also with your spritzer bottle that you spritz them down twice a day. So morning and night, give them a little spray, keep them moist, not too, not too much water, but just so that they are always uh, wet. And there you go. That is day one for the pea sprouts. I'm gonna try these without um, uh, putting them under grow lights just to see if they um, will grow the same as these ones, which I'm gonna do under grow lights. But for the first, uh, I think two to three days, they'll be just in this blackout stage so they can sit on the counter or on a shelf out of direct sunlight. Um, and we'll check on them each day and see how it goes. So for this uh, larger tray of uh, peas that I'm going to sprout, it's I have three trays that I'm going to be using. So the one that the peas are sitting on um, has holes in it so the uh, water can be sucked up and the roots will grow through this tray. The bottom tray will be for um, when I start watering after they have sprouted and we've taken them out of the blackout stage. For now, I'm just going to do the same as what I'm gonna be doing for that smaller tray and just uh, wet down the, the pea seeds twice a day with my sprayer. I'm gonna cover this with this one and keep it in blackout for um, probably three or four days. So I will take you to my grow room and we will put some uh, weight on this and put it on the shelf. So I've got these pea sprouts covered up and I'm gonna use these uh, bricks that I just had outside in my yard and put them on top here. I'm going to put six of these. It's probably over 20 pounds worth of weight. And this will keep the um, P 
pea sprouts from popping up too much and uh, getting leggy. And so twice a day I'll be coming over here, taking the lid, spraying down the, the sprouts, and I will show you each day how things are going. It's actually quite amazing how strong these sprouts are because after about three or four days they will actually start lifting these uh, 20 pounds bricks up and uh, trying to grow. So we will check back. This is day one. We'll check back on day two and see how it's going. So here we are at day five, and you can see that these pea sprouts are starting to push up these cans, and uh, they are wanting to spread out their roots. So we're gonna give it a squirt today with um, another spritz with some water, and then I'm going to just leave them out now in the natural light, uh, put them in a sunny spot if we have one today and let them continue growing. Can't really tell here, um, but um, it does look like also the pea sprouts are pushing up even on this probably 20 pounds of weight. So we're gonna take off the lid and see how they're doing. Here we are on day five, and these are all really nicely sprouted. They're all pretty much pointing upwards. So I think today we're going to move these under the grow lights, and we will start watering from the bottom. As you can see, we've got quite a few roots poking through here already. So this has been seven days now that these uh, pea sprouts have been growing here. These ones have been without any grow lights. I've just had them sitting in this southeast facing window. So I'm gonna give them a little spritz here. Uh, it hasn't been too sunny these last couple of days, but they still seem to be um, thriving and growing, so we will give them a couple more days. So as you can see, they are coming along nicely and growing upwards towards the light, which is what I want now. And under the tray, you can see I'm watering from the bottom now, and they have got some pretty good roots going. So here we are at day 11 um, of the pea sprouts and I've been pretty busy the last few days and have missed out on a daily check-in. Um, we'll just take them out from under the lights now and have a look at them. Okay, so here are our microgreen pea shoots after 14 days under the lights. I am getting ready now to cut them, harvest them, I guess, 
And I'm going to just put them into a salad spinner and wash them up right away. You can also um, just cut them up, put them into the fridge um, as they are, and then just wash them before you are ready to eat them or cook with them. Um, but just make sure if you put the, before you put them in the fridge that they are thoroughly uh, dry because otherwise they will spoil. But they should last in the fridge for a couple weeks. So uh, let's to, start the um, cut Cut here. your sprouts here. You can either use a sharp knife like I am going to use. It's a serrated knife. It's very sharp. Or you could use a, a good pair of scissors. So it's up to you. So the way to start is I just try to grab a handful. And the benefit of these, um, the way we grew these here today, um, is there is no soil. So um, they're pretty clean once you cut them off. So just grab a handful and start chopping. You can see you got a nice long stalk there. So you can either eat these just fresh um, as a snack. They're super crunchy and they, they really have a, a nice flavor, like you're eating fresh peas out of the pod. Uh, you can cook them up in stir fries, chop them up into, add them to your salad. Throughout the whole winter and always have some fresh, healthy microgreens. So there, we've harvested this whole thing. As you can see, it has quite a strong pile of roots there that I'm going to have to rip out of here and compost. It should come out fairly easy. But uh, that's how it looks. And we ended up with a whole basket full of pea sprouts here. So I'm going to wash them up and enjoy now. I wanted to follow up on the container that we started also that I put under or on the windowsill without using the grow lights. As you can see, they did not grow near as fast as the ones under the lights. Um, I'm thinking probably because of the time of year it is, there's not a lot of um, intense sunlight where I'm living right now. It's November right now. And um, so perhaps this would work in later in the spring um, or summer, of course, when you have a lot stronger sunlight. But for now, I'm gonna just show these under the grow lights here and uh, see if I can bring them along or not. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to grow your own pea shoots without using any soil. If you are not a subscriber, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I have a new video up on the channel. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.